What is a superfluid? When we think of matter that is really cold, we typically think of solids. However, some materials exist in a unique state when very cold. We're talking a few Kelvin over absolute zero cold. This state of matter is called superfluidity. A superfluid is a phase of matter that has zero viscosity, very high thermal conductivity, and zero entropy. Some materials that exhibit this behavior are helium-3 and 4, an isotope of rubidium, and an isotope of lithium. This clip demonstrates what is called a Rowland film, a characteristic that only superfluids can have. What has happened is helium has been placed into this container and been supercooled past the lambda point. At this temperature, since it no longer has any viscosity but still retains surface tension, the liquid helium is able to creep up and over the sides of the container and drip from the bottom. This process will continue until all the liquid helium has been removed from the dish. Another characteristic of superfluids is zero viscosity. Here, liquid helium is cooled below 2.17 degrees Kelvin, or the lambda point. At this point, it no longer has any viscosity and the container's mesh bottom can no longer hold the fluid. Thus, it begins to leak out. <laughs> a superfluid's high thermal conductivity allows it to dissipate heat at a very high rate. This almost infinite thermal conductivity has been seen with neutron stars. A specific example of observing this was with a neutron star at the center of Cassiopeia A, a supernova remnant. Neutron stars are created by supernovas and are the old core of the exploded star. The Cassiopeia A explosion occurred a relatively short time ago and the resulting neutron star is still cooling off. Looking at the change in temperature over the years, astronomers noticed that the star was losing heat at a dramatic rate. To explain such a rapid loss of heat, the core must be made up of a superfluid. As demonstrated by our team of professional dancers, atoms at normal temperatures move around with different kinetic energies as if dancing to their own soundtrack. Here our dancers are acting as atoms in a superfluid. When the temperature is decreased past the material's lambda point, the atoms have the same energy in quantum state, causing them to behave as one unit. So what's next for superfluids, y'all? Nobody really knows. Our superfluids have experimental value, there currently is no practical use for them in today's world. And that's a shame. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching? Who's watching me?